Hi guys, this is C here. Welcome back. I'm so excited to have done week one today um, and get into cycle one. This is my first time through, so I'll be learning along with you guys. I have the Abecedarian class this year. Uh, my two youngest boys are in there, and so I'm tutoring them this year. So a lot of my ideas will be geared towards that age, of course, but they can probably be adjusted to apprentices or journeymen. If you're masters, I'm sorry. Probably not gonna wanna use a lot of my ideas this year. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go ahead that that's great I hope they work for you but um yeah so I have the um, obesidarian class and um we had a really awesome first day so if you're a tutor and this is your first time watching a video welcome these are just my ideas for how I presented new grammar um you don't have to do them and to my parents at home this is to help you if you want to do what we did in class. You are the teacher, so feel free to do what you want to do at home, but I'll just go over what we did in class. So we always start out with geography um, just because it's easier to have it already out. So um, for geography, we went over each location and then each of my students, because they're little, had one of these little finger guys. They're these plastic, they're kind of, they're not hard, but they're these little plastic finger puppets that I found at the tar tar <laughs> Target dollar spot. There we go. Um, this summer and they're just a little more fun to point with so um, we went over all of our geography locations I had them um, use their little dinosaurs to point we made them swim in the Mediterranean did fun stuff like that with them so that was geography um, with the littles they sometimes it's their first time seeing a map so it takes them a little while to find things so we will try to increase our speed and times going through on that as the year goes along but they did a good job for today uh, then we did um, math so for math we had ones and twos um, and we just jumped so I we we spoke through them um, and I'm just doing skip counting because they have the littles um, but we spoke through the skip counting and then we um, underlined a few of them jumped underlined a few more jumped till we were all jumping at the end they luckily didn't change the two song too much for me so I was able to get through that but we sang that and jumped for that one as well um, for history we uh, had egg shakers and we listened to the song a couple times and then we walked around the room a couple times and shook our eggs because there's a lot of shaking motion or shaking sounds to it. So that's what we did for history. I didn't do this in class because we ran out of time, but I'm going to do it here. Um, especially if you have older kids, this probably would work well for you. And then for my parents, if you want to do this at home, um, I saw a really awesome video of how to remember uh, the commandments. So we have number one, so you shall have no other gods, point, point up to God, gods before me. And then two, so we're going to use two fingers like this, two, um, don't make any graven images, images or bow to idols, so you use one finger like you're bowing to an idol, okay? Three is don't take the name of the Lord in vain, so we're going to use this to keep our mouths quiet. Four is remember the Sabbath day, so we've got the four on this hand, which means there's six other days that we can work on the fourth, the fourth day, but we keep the Sabbath day holy. So six other days we work, and then we keep the Sabbath day holy. Um, and then five in sign language, this is father and this is mother. So for our fifth one is honor your father and mother. I thought that was a really easy way to remember them um, with some hand motions. So um, if you want to use that at home uh, or if you want to use that in class, there you go. Uh, for Latin, I have this these worlds that I laminated. And um, we took the world and they passed it around while I had my back turned to the class and I was just reciting our Latin for the week. And when I got done and said object of preposition, I turned around really fast and whoever had the world got to get up and run around the room. So my son figured out very quickly that if he just held on to the world the whole time, <laughs> that he got to run around the room. So then we had to make it so that you had to be passing it the whole time. So we passed that around. Then at the end, everybody got a chance to run around the room. For science, I used my most favoritist prop for New Grammar, which is my um, agility ladder. And I found these really cool, they're dry erase, um, just, I don't know, cutouts, I guess maybe, um, that we used. And I laid them out in order from the largest to the smallest. Um, with our different classifications on there and it worked out perfect with my agility ladder that there was one 
space to jump for each of the classifications. So they jumped and we said the classifications as they jumped on down the line. And I've got six students and I did it. So that was our seven times. So that was pretty easy. Uh, for English, uh, I got new voice cards this year that I printed out. Um, they're just a little bit bigger and have bigger pictures. So I thought that'd be easier for the little ones. Um, but they have some really fun ones like volcano words. I thought that was a really cute one where you start quiet and then you get bigger, like you're exploding. So we well, passed these out. Everybody got one. And we said our English memory work for the week. Um, for timeline, um, I will show you what the hand motions are. I'm not going to do a uh, really focus on the hand motions in class just because it takes a lot of time um, trying to get all of the kids to do the hand motions. And I have found in my own home that once they start getting memorized and get older, they don't, at least my daughter doesn't do the hand motions with it she just can sing it so I will do them in class a couple of times through but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them especially with the little ones I mean sometimes trying to get them to do the letter d takes four minutes so <laughs> um so I hid them around the room but we did sing it through first and I did do the motions. so here's the motions if you want to see what they are so we have age of ancient empires so we just it's like our beard our crooked beard um and then we have creation like our tree from creation and the fall and we have the flood the water's coming up in the tower of babel and then we have mesopotamia and sumer those are our rivers because that's the mesopotamia and sumer are between the tigris and euphrates then we have egyptians and this is the little i guess the snake that they had on their headbands um indus anytime you do india in the timeline you're always going to do this it's like their little bendy dot indus River Valley Civilization. And then we have the Minoans and the Mycenaeans. So anyway, that was all for today. It was, it was a really great day. Um, I did want to, I don't know who this person is, but this was on CC Connected, this little first day of classical conversation. Sorry, there's a glare from my window sign. Um, I'm sorry that I don't know who it is, but whoever you are, if you're watching, thank you so much. This was so cute. I got all my littles picture with it since we have extra time on the first day. Um, but yeah, we had an awesome, awesome week one. I hope that you guys get off to a great start and I will see you back next week. Thanks guys.